Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the Sudha Truth Lies Within and we are going to talk about 24th of April. That is, today is Godly Blessing. Where Supreme Father is reminding us that the easiest method to be in touch with me or to be in connection with Supreme God Father. Why is that connection important? Because we cannot go back into our own previous births and nullify or cleanse or clear our past karmas. And the only method is to get connected to someone who is beyond birth and death and has the power to cleanse or clean and give the power to our souls so that we can clean our past karmas or face them easily and not create new negative karmas which we have to again face in the future. So past karmas, what we have done, Supreme God Father gives us the power, the knowledge, the intellect. He cleans our mind and intellect so that in the present we do the right karmas so that we don't have to face again repercussions of a negative karma. So we do the right karma right now so that our past is also cleansed and our future is brighter. So let's see what does Supreme Father have to say here. <coughs> Baba says, may you be an easy yogi. That means being in connection with the Supreme God Father, connection with Him in remembrance of His knowledge, it means an easy yogi who constantly experiences happiness by your attainments emerging. So, what have we attained in this relationship with God? When we remember that, automatically happiness comes in our life. We're going to explore that in a bit. So, the basis of having easy yoga means easy connection with God is love. A child when born is in yoga with the parents, father and mother. When a wife or a husband they get married, two people get married, they are in easy yoga with each other and the bonding energy is love. <coughs> so here too God says the basis of having easy yoga is love. That means to bond with even God is only through love. And the basis of love is a relationship. And what happens when we have a relationship? We exchange thoughts, words, actions, goods. Yes. And it is easy to have remembrance with a relationship. All attainments are received with a relationship. In any kind of relationship, there's give and take going on. That means there's an exchange of energy, words, exchange of maybe even gifts. And... When we have something in a house which was given to us by somebody and our eyes go into it or we find it in a corner, automatically the relationship, the memories are awakened and we remember that person. That is also yoga. <coughs> and it becomes very easy to connect with that person through that gift or through those words, maybe through a letter, maybe through a message, we can remember that person. So that's about God says all attainments are received with a relationship. The mind and intellect easily go where there is attainment. So in a relationship, when you know that, if you remember that person, if you call that person, you're going to attain something from them, you're going to get something from them, then it becomes easy to remember them. That's what God is saying. Do the same thing with me. Therefore, <coughs> let your intellects emerge all the treasures of powers. See, when we get into this knowledge of Brahma Kumaris, the first thing which we learn is that I am a soul. I am not this body. So automatically the fear which we have in our life of death, of missing out, of losing, of self-depreciation or self-esteem, everything, that fear, it is vanished. It comes back to us in a powerful way, in the way that you are immortal, you are a powerful being, you have to control your mind, intellect and your habits and everything is in control. So you can take your power back and when we get this knowledge, we feel peaceful immediately. So God says, remember what you attained from me when you got this knowledge. Why? So that it becomes easy for us to remember him. Then we got the knowledge of our past, present and future births. 
what's going to happen we get the knowledge of the present situation of the world what is going to happen in the future we get the knowledge of who god really is and we get the knowledge of where we have to go when we leave a body and how to go over there which the world doesn't know at all <coughs> so with all this knowledge this clarity and when there's clarity confusion is gone when confusion is gone there is happiness there is complete peace and bliss in the mind so when we receive this knowledge automatically when we receive the knowledge we attain happiness and bliss so god says remember what i gave you so that you remember me through that relationship <coughs> so the virtues the qualities which we supposed to have in ourselves so that our work becomes easier those qualities when we remember which are reminded to us by god gives us happiness gives us methods to make our life easier to make our relationships easier to make our work easier and love that the father has given you so we receive love from him also when we meditate so all that it means you have had and you will continue to experience happiness and become easy yogis so this is what god says emerge these memories in your mind and before you can even emerge these memories you will have to do the seven day course and understand what exactly has been spoken over here in the blessing otherwise these are just words with this om shanti